Hello, my dear full graders. My name is Dragana Radocic and I'm an English teacher. Our today's lesson is school timetable and days of the week. Dobar dan, dragi četvrtaci. Moje ime je Dragana Radojčić i ja sam nastavnica engleskog jezika. Naša današnja tema za četvrti razred jeste školski raspored i dani u sedmici. So, let's pay attention to the days of the week. Obratimo pažnju na nazive dana u sedmici. So, there are seven days in a week. U sedmici imamo sedam dana. These days are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Once again, još jedan put. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Now, let's focus our attention on school subjects. Hajde da se fokusiramo sada na školske predmete. Look at the following pictures and the names of school subjects. The first picture and the first school subject you can see is music. Znači, fokusirajmo se sada na školske predmete. Prva slika i prva riječ koju vidite ovdje na ekranu jeste music. Koji bi to bio predmet? Muzička kultura. Language. Jezik. Serbian or English. Srpski ili engleski. Then, P.E. What does it mean, P.E.? P.E. stands for physical education or sport. Šta je to P.E.? To je skraćenica od physical education, što znači fizičko vaspitanje. Then we have the following picture. Math. If you look at the picture carefully, you can see these children playing with numbers and counting. So, this subject is math. Ako pogledate sljedeću sliku, vidjet ćete ovu djecu koja se igraju brojevima i računaju, tako da možete zaključiti da je ovaj predmet matematika. And the last picture, and the last word here you can see on this screen is art. I posljednja slika koju vidite odnosi se na likovnu kulturu. So, let's read these names for school subjects once again. Math, music, art, language and PE. Izgovorimo još jednom ove riječi koje predstavljaju školske predmete. Math, music, art, language, PE. Now, open your students' books, page 19, and let's read the text, school timetable. Zamolit ću vas sada da otvorite svoje uđbenike, stranica 19, i pročitajmo tekst school timetable, odnosno školski raspored. Are you ready? Jeste li spremni? Listen carefully. Slušajte pažljivo. Hello again. I'm Maggie. I go to school in the USA. Today is Monday. On Mondays we have art classes. We draw. Tomorrow is Tuesday. On Tuesdays and Thursdays we exercise in our PE classes. On Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays we read and write in our language classes. On Mondays, Thursdays and Fridays we have math classes. On Fridays we have music classes. 
We don't go to school on Saturdays and Sundays. As you can see, in this text, we've got a lot of words that we've just mentioned at the beginning of this lesson. Kao što vidite, u ovom tekstu se pominje mnogo riječi koje smo već pomenuli na početku ovoga časa. As you can see, here we have the names for the days of the week, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on and so on. Then we have the names for school subjects. Znači imamo u okviru teksta nazive za dane u sedmici, stoga smo ih zato i ponovili na početku ovog današnjeg časa. Zatim imamo nazive školskih predmeta o kojima smo također govorili na početku ove teme. Let's pay attention to the following picture. This picture represents school timetable, but it's empty, and we need to fill in these gaps with the names of school subjects. The only thing you can see here is the names of the days of the week, but the names for school subjects are missing, and we need to fill in these gaps. Let's do it together. So, which lessons does Maggie have on Monday? Language, math, and art. What about Tuesday? Which lessons does Maggie have on Tuesday? Let's see. PE. And she's got PE lesson on Thursday as well. On Wednesday, Maggie has the language class, as well as on Friday. And Maggie has math class on Thursday and Friday as well. Maggie has music lesson on Friday. Molim vas sada da pogledate ovu sliku. Ukoliko obratite pažnju na nju, vidjet ćete da jedino što možete da ugledate jesu nazivi dana u sedmici. Šta predstavlja ova slika? To je u stvari školski raspored. Šta nam nedostaje? Moramo da upotpunim ove praznine nazivima školskih predmeta. Koje predmete Megi ima tokom ovih dana? On Monday, tokom ponedeljka, Megi has the following lessons. Megi ima sljedeće časove. Language, math and art. On Tuesday, Megi has PE as well as on Thursday. And She's got language lesson on Wednesday and Friday. On Thursday and Friday, Maggie has math lessons as well. And the last lesson is music on Friday. Sad, kada smo popunili sve ove praznine, možete da vidite koje časove Maggie ima tokom ove sedmice. So, when does Maggie have the following school subjects? Kada, odnosno kojim danima Maggie ima sljedeće školske predmete? Maggie has language classes on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Maggie ima čas jezika ponedeljkom, srijedom i petkom. Maggie has math classes on Monday, Thursday and Friday. Maggie ima časove matematike četvrtkom, ponedeljkom i petkom. Maggie has art class on Monday. Maggie ima čas likovne kulture ponedeljkom. Maggie has music class on Friday. Maggie ima čas muzičke kulture, petko. And Maggie has PE classes on 
Tuesday and Thursday. Megi ima časove fizičkog vaspitanja utorkom i četvrtkom. Now, let's talk about what we do in our classes. Razgovarajmo o onome što činimo tokom časova, odnosno o aktivnostima koje činimo u okviru časova. Let's pay attention to the following pictures. Obratimo pažnju na sljedeće slike. What does the first picture represent? Šta predstavlja prva slika? What does this girl do? So, this first picture represents PE class. So, what we do in our PE classes? We exercise in our PE classes. Šta predstavlja prva slika? Čas fizičkog vaspitanja. Šta radimo mi na času fizičkog vaspitanja? Mi vježbamo, odnosno radimo vježbe. Look at the following picture. Pogledajmo sljedeću sliku. What are these children doing in this picture? They are singing, right? Šta radi djeca na ovoj slici? Pjevaju, tako je. So, we can say that we sing in our music classes. Na časove muzičke kulture mi pjevamo. In the following picture you can see a math teacher. And obviously she's counting the numbers. So we can say that we count in our math classes. Ukoliko pogledate sljedeću sliku, vidite nastavnicu matematike koja računa. Tako da možemo reći da na časove matematike mi računamo. In the following picture you can see a little boy. What is he doing? Yes, he is drawing something. So we can say that we draw in our art classes. Na časovima likovne kulture mi crtamo. And look at the last picture. We read and write in our language classes. Na časovima jezika mi čitamo i pišemo. I will read these sentences once again. So listen carefully. Još jednom ću pročitati ove rečenice, pa pažljivo slušajte. We exercise in our PE classes. We count in our math classes. We sing in our music classes. We draw in our art classes. We read and write in our language classes. That's all for today. Thanks for your attention. It was my pleasure to share this lesson with you. Goodbye. To je sve za ovaj put. Hvala vam na pažnji. Drago bi je što sam podijelila ovo vrijeme s vama. Doviđenja.